What's up YouTube, it's your boy JP and David back at it again with another video. So we had this one in the warehouse for about maybe like three three weeks or whatever. Yeah. We finally finished out the enemy statue so this now we can actually look into some really cool stuff. I know uh, they've been waiting for this one for everything. Like, please Poppy! <laughs> please Papu Julio! Can we please unbox this one? And I was like well we gotta finish all this One Piece stuff first in the animes but now we're finally here. We only have like three more to go, there we go. until we pick up another 25 next week, uh, or or whatever you guys see this video does that when it's released. Yeah. But yeah. This one is like the very first statue I ever pre-ordered. Wow. Um, so I pre-ordered this one last year, November 20 wow. whatever. So it's finally here. Really excited to show it off, uh, unbox it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. We'll see you guys at the end. All right, guys. So we uh, unwrapped all of the pieces. Uh, and the different uh, layers of the statue. So as you can see, this is the base, it's pretty big. Uh, the finish on this is really nice. You can see this metallic here. Uh, and then this looks like stone, jagged stone coming out. You got this really cool purple gray skull, which I think goes in the very center of it. And that is just really, really cool. Look at the detail on that. Uh, I thought it was a baby skull and I got scared for a little bit. Nice. I feel like the paint on, um, especially this, uh, and we look at the body real quick. Yes. The paint on this body is fantastic yes. so far. Uh, very, very nice. It does shine. It looks like metal, of course, for his armor. Uh, and then, of course, you got the two different switch up heads, uh, which it looks like it's a little bit different right here on like the chin and then his eyes as well. So, like, this one has more of a squint. Oh, and then uh, the side, which I'll show you real quick. So, as you can see right there, this one has little wings on it. And then this one has uh, more of a. Uh, looks almost like Thor's uh, wing thing. Oh, yeah. So, you get to see. You get to get like, both of those. And then heads, of course, for the. The base and then this I'm guessing it's like to show his speed and then a little more accessory pieces here like the black and red bat which I really like this uh, the, the black bat with the red outline I think that's really really cool uh, and definitely makes a good contrast of it and then look at this look at these p pieces that go to the base uh, and then they make this look like that the metal on on like cars or uh -huh. like bikes that where the heat comes out of it oh, yeah, warps yeah. it like that that looks really really cool but it's plastic, it's not metal. So the, the attention to detail on that is very impressive. Let's see how this looks as we build it out.
Alright, you two. So we just finished building out the Batman. What's this guy? Uh, from Earth 52. Earth 52. What's the guy? Dark Knight something. Metal Knight. Oh. <laughs> I already forgot the name. Dark Knight Metal. Yeah. In that right corner right there. Yeah. Dark Knight's Metal. Well, I think this is like the Batman and Flash combined, right? Yes. Yes. Have so, you read the story? The I'm actually it? reading it right now. It's okay. actually uh, interesting. Yeah. Did um, you get to this part? Not yet. Okay. So Not we yet. don't know anything about this character, but this character badass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This statue is uh, insane. It's like you said. It's basically looking like the Flash and, and Batman combined, uh, but it's an evil Batman. Yeah. Yes. So that's really cool seeing the Batman with the the super speed and everything. I want to read in this comments. If you guys read the comics, let us know if it's uh, something that. It's a must read, or if it's just like one of those fan service type of ones where, like, yo, they, they put characters together but don't really make a really good story. Yeah. So, so, yeah, let us know. But the base on this one, I'll give it a 10 out of 5. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I really like how they combine the bats. So, the bats they attach on top of each other, like the peg, the pins, when you pin it, like right here, they're yeah. pinned on top of each other. So, that's, that was very cool that you could do that. And they added that on there, and you don't really tell because it's pretty flushed. Um, when you display it, you can't really see that, you know, they're pinned in. They just look really cool. Um, the, the sculpt itself, the, the character, the action pose, I'll give it, like, you know, a 7 out of 5. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite action poses as well. This may be in my top 10, if not my top 5, of uh, the statues we unboxed so far. This was my first pre-order I ever did before I just started picking up That's statues. That's important one, yeah. Nothing, right? So, this may be a keeper. Uh, what, what do you think about this one, David? Uh, definitely the base is insane. Uh, I can understand why JP gave it a 10 out of uh, 5 and I agree. Uh, like I said, the detail on the skulls, the colors that they chose, not only for like the, the front skulls, but like the, the purple to gray, uh, gives it that, that gradient that definitely adds depth to the to the statue itself. Uh, the way that they picked the, the, the base, so it looks obviously with the skull, but it also has this, it, it gives you a sense of speed. Uh, and not only that, but the statue itself, it feels like he's about to take off or like he's running through and it gives yeah. you that sense the way he's leaning forward like a runner yeah. bro i was like that's it looks like he's he's taken off uh, and then i the the attention to detail to the colors as you can see right here like i said it looks like an exhaust from a car uh and they added that to it as well like the back it looks like an engine like this is an engine block that they put in yeah uh and it's so cool uh the the whole aspect of, of the speed even with the with the this, with this, what do you want to call it? Like a flare? I don't know what it, what you call this. Uh, is is great. Now again, okay, so we've done Asian statues. If this was light up, JP, yeah, bro, that would have been insanely cool. <laughs> that'd be a really cool light up effect. Or, or or if the back, the flames come out, like the lights come out of the back too. That'd been really. Cool. That would have been really cool. Yeah. So there's things that obviously you know we're we're fanboying here, but the itself, the base by itself is, is great. And like you said, these bats add so much to it. Because it, you know, it gives you that sense of it's Batman, and the bats look bad, like they're evil, for example. Yeah. They're from uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> from the Upside Down. Yeah. Um, and then the finish on everything is just so nice. He's coming for Eddie. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, like I said, the paint on the skulls, the finish on him, the shiny armor versus like that matte red armor, uh, and then like the neon, the the outline on the bat is also. A, 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 I want to, you know, draw attention to that. Because they could have just made black bats, or they could have made red bats, but it has that little um, red piping on it. But it also looks like, like almost bubblish on the wet, on the wings, and I think that's really impressive as well. Uh, and then of course you got the detail on his face, and his uh, mask, and it, it looks really really cool. So it does come with what? Just one switch out, right? Yes. So this is the deluxe version, and does come with just one switch out. So it's just that head, and you have this head as well. Uh, what are the differences? Uh, the differences, I'll, I'll put them next to him so you can see them. Uh, so it's definitely the wings, as you can see right there. Uh, again, I just bring it in, JP. So it's like basically the this, these little additions to it. It's uh, This one has a more, I guess you would call it like speed, and this one is more like bats, as you can see there. And then this one is more like armor, as you can see. It looks like more metallic, and it has like the piping around it, while that one is more like the flash mask. And then uh, the also the front, I'll show you, I'll, I'll spin it right now so you can see it. The front, this one has like a little, almost like a bug thing at the front. And then of course the eyes, uh, this one is, is giving you a little, uh, almost like a wink, kind of, you can see that. So there's definitely differences to it. And I think they put that so that you can see one is more flash, and then one is more like Batman's armor kind of thing. So that's really cool. I really, I really thought 
that uh, the differences in the heads was was really something that uh, you can choose your style. You know, it, it fits the personality you want to put on. Uh, but man, overall, this statue is insanely cool. Insanely cool. Yeah. So let us know which one. Uh, we were thinking about picking up the Batman Who Laughs, probably one deluxe exclusive, uh, deluxe whatever it was. Uh, which one would, do you guys prefer? Do you prefer this one or the Batman Who Laughs one with the chains with all the Robins and stuff like that? Uh, that would have been really sweet. Uh, yeah, so if we have those options. Let us know which one is your favorite Batman statue Elseworld style, you know, uh, because there are quite a bit of Elseworld style DC characters. I, I believe this one's my favorite. It's so badass. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, but the Batman Who Laughs is really cool as well. Um, and we'll <laughs> let us know what you guys think about this one. What statues you want to see next? We'll see you guys in the next video.